Hi, I'm Corey Wiggle from Life, Living Independently Forever on Cape Cod. Today we're at the Cahoon Museum of American Art in Catuit, Massachusetts, where they're getting ready for a special exhibit called Life in the Abstract, which features eight contemporary East Coast artists, in addition to seven of our own life artists. Let's go inside and see if we can speak to some of them about their art. So here we are with Jake Rothenberg in front of his artwork. Jake, how long have you been painting? I've, I've been painting for, for a very, very long time. Very long time. Yeah, before I started life. Hi, I'm Elizabeth um, Bowman. Um, this is my painting um, in the show. So I painted um, this um, painting in a, the middle um, of a group of um, abstract um, some art paintings that you know, came to me because um, after a long uh, series of doing uh, specific objects, uh, it felt, um, I felt like it was uh, brought new self-expression um, to do so a painting uh, that was um, abstract um, and not and distinctive um, in um, its, what it conveyed. Well, I'm really happy to, that the Cajun Museum of American Art could do this exhibition called Life in the Abstract and to show in the exhibition the work of students from the LIFE program, some of which you see here. This wonderful work is by Mara Schusterman, and uh, she, her work, I think, is really close to in feeling and in technique and style and coloration to the work of the great uh, expressionist painter Maurice Flamenc. It was wonderful use of color. And so I think it's an appropriate example to show in an exhibition of abstract painting where we have represented artists from throughout the Cape, from Boston and New York, whose abstract work really dovetails with the work of these artists. This uh, really interesting piece here by Kevin Nickerson, I think is really close in feel to the work of Mark Rothko. You can sort of see the color fields, the red uh, circles, and um, it, it is very evocative of the landscape, and at the same time, it's very abstract. And I think, again, it has a real good fit with the abstract landscapes that we have in the exhibition. And this wonderful work up here by Elizabeth Bowman um, reminded me very much of Arthur Dove, the kind of fluid, watery colors, the vague suggestion of sort of a landscape, um, again, very much evocative of Dove. There is um, a difference um, in painting um, abstract no, um, I um, images um, and distinctive um, um, objects that be um, in um, that um, in abstract, um, you are um, not conveying um, some and any object you know, itself, but the um, but the impressions uh, of various things, which can be so um, perceived differently by different you know, viewers, um, and gives you more f uh, freedom in some respects. And I'm here to see Mara's painting. And Mara had, had took me to her art class one day and showed me how she was doing her painting. Oh my goodness! That's just as exciting as if I was seeing a cartoon painting. And, and how does it make you feel when you do your art? Um, it makes me feel. It makes me feel very, very, very creative and very imaginative and very inspirational because any time I do my artwork, I think. Hey, maybe I'd like to do this today. And then um, Jamie and all of them look at my paintings and put them into my portfolio. Excellent. Hello, Annabelle. Hello. So tell me a little bit about your artwork. It's abstract. I did it with acrylic. I made it with acrylic. Acrylic? And what was the, um, what gave you an idea? What was your idea? It's full of patterns and shapes. What does it mean to you to be a part of this wonderful show? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The exhibition is wonderful. So, as the CEO of Life, can you tell me a little bit about um, how you feel with the artwork being presented in this exhibit tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Green. Um, this is a tremendous opportunity, and we're, you know, the artists uh, that were here tonight just uh, felt so much pride in seeing their artwork up on the walls and having people ask them about, you know, what they were thinking when they were making it. It's just, uh, it's really meaningful to them. So uh, it's just a tremendous opportunity. And I thank the Cajon Museum and Barbara Oliver from Life for putting this together. And, and uh, you know, we're just uh, very appreciative. So thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks.